I look at uh, the world and, uh, and my own life uh, through architecture. For me, architecture is a kind of a frame. Uh, and uh, I also teach architecture as a frame of uh, understanding and perceiving things, not, not objects. The, the little, the little uh, painter's summer studio that I, I showed, the little made of stone, I, I think it has uh, the strongest emotion. That I always like uh, to work on really difficult uh, projects. I, I could not uh, do a project which has the ideal site and uh, a lot of money. I, I, I like limitations. I think limitations are very important and in that case uh, uh, there was enough limitations for me to be feel inspired. I wrote essentially one essay for a book entitled um, Questions of Perception which uh, where I wrote with uh, Stephen Hall and Alberto Perez Gomez. When Steve, uh, Stephen Hall asked me to write an essay, I said without any thinking, yes, I will write if I can write on uh, architecture for the other senses than the eye. And that started my interest, and uh, the book grew out of uh, that, uh, you know, immediate uh, uh, <laughs> orientation. And anything, any, anything, as I said in my lecture, I very much look at art, works of art. Um, any, inspiration is not uh, something that you, you try to imitate directly. Inspiration is a mental state and you can become, uh, reach uh, inspired state by looking at the cinema or uh, reading a, a poem and it's much better for an architect to be inspired by other art forms than, than architecture because then you do your own thing whereas if you start to seek inspiration in architecture you probably become dependent on other architects. Mm -hmm.